Making your own skin and BeamNG doesn't have to be complicated. While I learned to do it, my process used to be long, resulting in a higher risk of committing small mistakes. Therefore, in this video, I will suggest you a quick and simple routine so your custom skins always work on the first try. First of all, we're going to use two free software, Notepad++ and Paint.net. In the BeamNG install folder, go in Content and then Vehicles. That's where all the built-in vehicle stuff, including their skins, goes. Then, in your Documents folder, you should have a BeamNG folder. Go there, Mods, and Repo. That's where all the non-built-in stuff goes. As an example, we will look at what an existing custom skin looks like. Pay attention to the folder hierarchy. Vehicles Name of the car Name of the skin Now in the built-in stuff folder, there is an equivalent folder hierarchy. Vehicle Car And then we can see all the files related to, in this case, the Ibishu Pessima. This way, both built-in and non-built-in vehicles folder will be referred the same way in the script we will make. As you can see, a custom skin is composed of three files. Materials.cs, nameoftheskin.jbeam, and nameoftheskin.dds. The dds file contains the actual image that will be mapped on our car. For this tutorial, we'll create a skin for the Gavril Barstow. Let's create our folder hierarchy. Vehicles For the car name, the files and folders name don't match exactly the car names in the game. I put in the video description the equivalent names for every car in the game. As you can see, the Gavril Barstow is just called Barstow we will name our skin Tutorial. Let's create our three files. For the DDS file, we will go in the built-in folder side and get an image that will help us. Every car has one and it's called car name underscore skin underscore UVS dot PNG. We will copy paste it in our custom skin folder. We can now open the PNG file with paint.net and export it as our DDS file. Let's open the JBeam file with Notepad++ and copy the default JBeam script available in the description. Replace car name with our car name which is Barstow and skin name with our skin name which is Tutorial. Then, you can freely change the name that will be displayed in the game. Now for materials.cs, there is also a default script available in the video description. Repeat the word replacement we did in the JBeam file. We can now edit our DDS file to design our skin. For Photoshop users, you can find plugins that let you edit DDS files, but the easiest way is to copy-paste the image to Photoshop, make your edits, and then copy-paste it back into paint.net just when you're ready to save the DDS file. For the last step, we'll just have to put our folders in a zip file with the name of your choice. Now let's play! 